hello viewers and subscribers yeah, welcome once again uh, our new screencast uh, this is the really most important screencast about the about the geospatial data set visualization with the with the different different how can say different visualization tools this is the one of the visualization tools uh, from google i mean from the google art uh, you can you can visualize your geospatial data with the uh, with the google art that means as a google art has a really really dynamic and flexible functionalities you can build the uh, 3d 3d objects and 3d models all the animations or all all sort of informations you can you can you can visualize you can manipulate we can analyze the use spatial data sets what we are trying to do today because that's you already know we have a lot of um, examples or a lot of videos or screencast if you go to the our channel like UB subgroup channels we have many videos uh, for geo geo programming or gis or geo gis mapping programming uh, with uh, different different technology stack i mean the technology stack means from the java based technology or or or, or groovy based technology or other other things is the javascript and javascript based framework technologies so that means you have we you have already geospatial data sets and then means you have a geospatial database main that's like post gis database or oracle spatial or other spatial database extensions and then you you store your geospatial data into the your backend server in database uh, and then you 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 produce your 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 services via geo server or map server doesn't matter for our cases we maximum cases we use the we use the geospatial uh both gis database and then we we we, we published we, we generate or or publish the geo services um and then after that those uh, those the services you we publish the wm web map server and web map services web feature services web cover services those are the possibilities you can produce uh, the services uh, out of your new uh, spatial data sets that's that's we had it many examples and then in the geo if you are if you know a little bit about the geo server and then that means in the if you publish your services you do spatial data as a service then you can export those data sets with different formats uh, that means you can export your data as a csv as a shapefile as a kml as a gml or open layers and json or geo json there's a lot of possibility to to export your uh, export your geospatial uh, data sets or you generate the geo data sets so today what we are trying to do uh, we have all the data sets into for gis database and then we publish the, all the geo services and then uh, and then we export some geospatial data set as a kml and then after that we try to visualize those data into the K google art that's the intention that's why we as like here if you see is all the information uh, coming from the UGU spatial database and also the all the coordinate information and so on and so forth that's the things we try to do it, do it we try to do today uh, how can you how 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 can we how how can you produce or store this geospatial database into the your backend server in the post gis database with postgres sql server and then how can you produce the uh, geo services uh, with the geo server and then after that 
how can you produce some spatial data like KML or GML format after that if you have a KML and GML files or GeoJSON files and then you can visualize this data set into different formats that's the intention today to give it to you how can you start how can you program it how can you do it that's one so if you go again the present in the in our channels um, in the channels if you see the channels there's many screencast uh, about the different technologies text if you i go to the this the channels uh, the screencast number um, uh, 46 this is that uh, the playlist like web gis web mapping programming with leaflet and then geo server and other map libraries uh, those are working with the with the leaflet javascript libraries for map uh, visualization or geospatial data visualization you can go this one and even though we have different we have a other other screencast number screencast here you see the screencast number here i think so this is the screencast number and uh, screencast number here the screencast number 40 for 37 and then you have a gis web gis web mapping programming with the with the with the, with the open layers that means the previous one was the the uh, based on the leaflet based and then the next one was the very simple uh, javascript based uh, open uh, leaflet based implementations and there is a very special implementation those are working with the with the javascript framework as like here as like node angular open layers and also the uh, and also the the node angular and leaflet based javascript libraries that's that's the in that's the idea i try to cover you those who have really less experience with the javascript framework like angular or react or node and those they can start with the web gis and web mapping programming with this series of the this series of the the screencast with very simple html and css and 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 leaflet based javascript or, or mapping map visual, geospatial visualization or open layer based a geospatial data set visualizations that's that that's the, i mean you can start all those who have is experience or has the has the working experience or industry you company is looking for uh, for the the integration of geospatial functionalities or, or visualizing the UG spatial data into different map sources like google maps or yahoo maps or, or open street maps they can they can also use the other other screencast like the angular uh, node.js angular leaflet and plus or or open layers that's a lot of possibility and this is the most important why we try today make it you the very special um, screencast for for focusing uh, for for focusing for the kml or google app how can you visualize how can you produce those data sets from out of your geospatial data sets and then yeah how can you visualize those things into the into the kml in the google app that's the intention for today the very special we already had many examples uh, in 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 the really screencast number uh time leap and this is the the previous screencast that's it's java java based and um, view technology and you have a, a you can mill the ui and uh, or or font and and with the different mapping libraries, JavaScript based from libraries like open layers and leaflets or Google Maps libraries, and we and then all the all the basic uh, operation of your 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 registration for the process. This is the really enterprise level application. Uh, those who are interested to work with the the Java based uh, font and development like Time Leap, Spring Boot, and and the integration of the uh, integration of the uh, of the geospatial or mapping or webgs ma uh, functionalities that's the that's the that's the screencast you can go this one for this screencast uh, we we have some examples like uh, like here you see the the we we export we 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 we, we export our geospatial data set as a kml and then if you see the type of like the geo server and google kml so we produce the data in the in the in the in the in the, in the kml's 
and then after that we visualize this data into the google art that's the that's the the screencast and that's why the many many subscribers are asking me to give it to you the very very specific screencast how can how can and the, how can in general in general how can you produce those uh, 